Ugh. I feel like shit. I just took my temperature and it's 100.3. <laughs> job today I took a vacation for about I don't want to say vacation because I didn't go particularly anywhere exotic or um, luxurious or anything like that but I did just take um, some vacation leave for about a week and a half and do you ever just feel like you got a lot of rest R&R &R, and you're just ready to go back and do what you need to do well that's really how I feel so I feel like I got you know the break that I needed I got to catch up on some self much needed self-care and I'm ready to go back and do what I do so I will take you along with me for the vaccine today if I'm able to do that because it's my first day back I work for a healthcare organization so they are distributing the vaccine to the employees to form this herd immunity I talk about it a little bit in blog from I believe two weeks ago so check it out hi okay so i'm back at work in my office and what i need to do is go through all the things that i need to do today my work usually gives me a new calendar for the year but for whatever reason they haven't been delivered so luckily i have these printed out i give these to my clients when they're keeping up with their recovery schedule so i'm going to use it <laughs> because one of my friends who is a medical practitioner told me that she got it and she ha had like um, some cold like symptoms and a couple other of the residents she works with had um, like some body aches and chills and some people had no symptoms at all so I guess it really depends but I'm getting it no matter what just I'm still a little bit nervous about that <laughs> take you guys along uh, I don't know how it's gonna be I'm gonna have to scope it out I'm not sure if it's gonna be awkward to film <laughs> you 
Yeah. Well, say hello to the viewers. <laughs> Hi, viewers. I'm Hugh. Thanks for joining us here in our vaccination forum. Mm -hmm. At this point of our appointment, you, my registered nurse, went over some of the side effects and kind of what to expect from getting this vaccine. He talks about some of the people that should not get the vaccine or may want to consult with their providers, such as pregnant women or those with compromised immune systems. And so here you see him going into detail with me about this before giving me my actual vaccine. After 
I kind of moved my arm around a little bit and woke up a little bit. Um, got some movement in my body. My arm started to feel less sore or in pain. I wouldn't say it's like a, a really bad pain. Um, maybe like a really sharp discomfort um, and soreness that I'm experiencing. If I had to place myself on the pain scale from 1 to 10, I probably would say like maybe I'm about like a 3. That's because like usually I don't experience any discomfort. So I'm going to check in with you later to let you know how I'm doing and how um, my arm is or if I have any other weird side effects. All right, hello everybody. It is now a little past 11 a.m. So the last time I checked in with you was, I don't even remember, but uh, my arm is still feeling a little bit sore. It's not feeling as uh, uncomfortable and as sore as it was this morning when I woke up. What I have noticed today is my body has been feeling a little bit more lethargic, even though I did get a pretty good night's sleep. And I don't normally feel that lethargic, so I do feel like a little bit weary, a little bit tired. And the other thing is I feel colder. My body feels much colder. I've had to keep the heater on and stuff in my office and then in the car. So yeah, I'm hoping that it'll get better. I don't feel like horrible. But the other thing that I forgot to mention that I want to keep in mind is that and hopefully you can hear me because I'm wearing my N95 and my other mask to protect it because I just saw some clients in person um, outside. But the other thing I want to keep in mind that I did not mention is the fact that I started a juice cleanse on Sunday and we're at Tuesday now. So it's a three day juice cleanse. So my cleanse will be over at the end of this day. And I've done these three-day juice cleanses plenty of times before but I haven't like had any like lethargy or anything like that in the past I just felt hungry in the past a little bit but I want to take into consideration that that mixed with like you know having the vaccine this foreign thing in my body now that combined may be affecting me so I'll check in with y'all later I'm headed back to the office I will see you soon a few moments later. Ugh. I feel like shit. I just took my temperature and it's 100.3. I looked on Google and it said apparently the CDC considers 100.4 a body fever. So I'm 0.1 away. So, uh, a quick update i feel like really fatigued i'm like really sweaty like i'm having cold sweats like earlier like i mentioned i was really cold so i had to turn the heater on blast in my office and now that i'm at home i feel like really hot like i'm sweating profusely right now so when the rn gave me my vaccine yesterday he went over some of the side effects and it was definitely written on there that a fever and body aches were on there and also my friend who's a doctor had also mentioned that that happened to her so i was kind of expecting it but it's weird that it took a little bit of time because yesterday right after i was feeling fine and at night i was feeling fine and then kind of towards the end of my day at work and then now like it just progressively i started to feel worse update I broke my juice cleanse because I really don't feel good and I think I need something of substance. I need something basically that will fuel my body. So I got some pho delivered and I'm sweating as I eat it. So I'll check in with y'all later. One eternity later. Update. So I just took my temperature again because I was feeling much better. So I just wanted to see what it was. And it went down to 97.9, I believe. So I think really what helped was like getting some rest, just like laying down because I really needed to lay down and then eating an actual meal because I had been juicing. So I guess something in regards to the vaccine 
if you plan on juicing, don't do it when you get the vaccine. Um, because, I don't know, your body just needs some fuel. Who knows? But yeah, it's really amazing how much better I feel. So because I had that incident and I felt really sick, I'm rewarding myself with some uh, popcorn. Like I have a bunch of different popcorns that were gifted. Um, I know random kettle corn, um, caramel corn, and chocolate covered. So, yeah. Honestly, I can't believe how much better I feel in just a matter of hours. I guess I really just had a small reaction to it. Sorry I didn't get a chance to close up. I felt so much better the next day and in the days to follow. I think that this COVID vaccine is a major step for us in preventing the spread of, of getting more COVID cases. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more.